As part of preparations for upcoming deep space travel, the Shenzhou 16 astronauts from China have started cultivating vegetables on board the Tiangong space station. After transferring leadership of the station to the recently arrived Shenzhou 17 mission crew, mission commander Jing Haipeng, rookie astros Zhu Yangzhu and Gui Haichao, and themselves have remained on board Tiangong since late May. They are scheduled to return to Earth on October 31st. Jing and associates have dedicated time to growing vegetables using two sets of specialized tools. Since it began operations in June, the first one has produced four batches of lettuce. August saw the installation of the second one, which is used to grow green onions and cherry tomatoes. The establishment of replicas on Earth by the China Astronaut Research and Training Center enables researchers to compare outcomes and more precisely, assess differences between plant growth in space and on Earth. This is a long-term strategy to support deep space travel, according to academics. This vegetable cultivation apparatus is a key part of the whole Environmental Control and Life Support System, ECLSS, and it is used in space to verify the relevant technologies. In the future, we will focus on rapid and large-scale cultivation. Yang Renze, a researcher from China Astronaut Research and Training Center, told CCTV. The system can be applied to the field of deep space exploration, including our crewed lunar and Mars landing missions, Yang said. As a key part of the Ecol SS, the plants grown from the cultivation apparatus can absorb carbon dioxide in the air to generate oxygen with the photosynthesis, and then regenerate and purify water with transpiration. Before 2030, China hopes to send two astronauts to the moon. In the upcoming 10 years, it also intends to construct the International Lunar Research Station, ILRS, a moon station. Although a crewed Mars landing is a long way off, China has stated that the Red Planet will be a future target for its spacecraft.